Hey guys, Sean Savage here from Streaker Marine. We have a, uh, a brand new 2022 Quintrex 490 Renegade side console. It's fitted with the Yamaha 90 horsepower four stroke. It's got a custom bimini over the uh, back section of the boat. It's been painted in the two-tone paint, which is stealth gray. And then over the front here, we've got our 80 pound auto deploy Minn Kota. We've got an LED little lights on the uh, below the thruster plate there and we'll uh, we'll jump in and have a look at some of the features it's it's been uh, customly optioned through the dealership here and I think we've come up with a really nice boat for the customer so it's a, the drive on Quintrex trailer as we work through the back here got the 90 horsepower four stroke Yamaha as we mentioned we've got a rail blazer rod holder either side of the transom there Got the mega chopper board, which is a large bait board. The good thing about that one, it's very easy to remove. So if you don't want it, if you're casting or whatever, you can get rid of it quite easily. At the back here, got a live bait tank next to the port side rail blazer rod holder. The live bait tank's a little lid with the pipe there for the height of the flow. At the back on the uh, port side here, we've got the transom step and rail. Customers optioned up to hydraulic steering, which is I think is a nice option for this one. It's got another rail blazer either side midship for when he's uh, trawling. And there's another two at the front. One's being utilized right now to hold the Minn Kota, and then the other one's a provision for a rod holder. As we work our way back to the dash, we've got a Garmin 8412, a Yamaha touchscreen, so a new CL5, the new Fusion RA60, and a custom made switch panel, which we've airbrushed here to um, identify each switch a lot nicer. Walk over to the front. We've got our Minn Kota controller. So these are a hand remote with the option of a foot remote. Double tap. And you've got your auto deploy. And as you can see, we've got this support here. So if we sit here, and stow it. That'll fall back in to the right position there. The customer is gonna use that quite often, so we didn't worry too much about an anchor winch at the front there, which got the standard anchor. We've got a set of speakers in that front bulkhead along here. We've got a custom made cover, which we'll get a photo off of a little bit later, which is in here, and all these safety gear. There's also an envelope for the bimini cover. So we've really pushed the, the bimini a little bit further back than we normally would, just to give us maximum room at the front here. The boat's gonna spend most of its time in the Northern Territory. Um, I wanted shade at the back, but plenty of casting room at the front. The other option we've gone with, which is getting more and more common, is running one 24 volt, 110 amp lithium battery that comes with a lithium charger as well. That is um, certainly the future and what most people are going for. We've got two circuit breakers there uh, for two Anderson plugs, one's for the Minn Kota and I think the other one's for some some form of power. I'm not 100% sure actually, but that's those two just there. And then we've got plenty of lighting throughout the side pockets. Another two Anderson plugs in that corner just there for, I would suggest, fridges, etc. Um, the nice thing off the Renegades is they are deep inside the boat. So there's Plenty of internal freeboard. There's great use of space with the side pockets. Um, it's the sort of boat you can be fresh water or you can be off the coast as well. So if you want to have a versatile fishing boat, this is um, this is a great great option. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact Streaker Marine, and uh, would love to help you with your next boat purchase. Thanks for watching.